Butter of the gods. Dun, dun, dun. Today we are making liquid gold beef tallow. They're not just regular beef tallow, smoked beef tallow. You can use beef tallow for so many different purposes. It is probably one of the better fats to use for seasoning your griddle. It goes great on steaks afterwards, cooking steaks in to sear them. It is wonderful for that. Beef tallow is incredible. It tastes great and it's super easy to make and so cheap. Let's get going. Here we have a bunch of beef fat. Now this is trimmings from an entire subprimal. Now, if you buy your beef like the entire subprimal, if you talk to your butcher and say, hey, I wanna be friends with you. I wanna buy the whole thing and save money. You're gonna save about 15 to 20% on your meat and seafood purchases throughout the year if you buy the entire thing. And then there's really no waste. I have very minimal waste when I purchase my meat and seafood like this because I take the beef trimmings that have a lot of nice protein and I turn those into ground beef and then I take the fat and I save the fat throw it in the freezer until I have a good amount of it like this and then I make beef towel out of it just like we're gonna do today so this is a really simple way to save a bunch of money to add a bunch of ingredients to your refrigerator and it's so easy to do you can do this in your oven you can do this in your smoker you can do it in your cast iron skillet on the stove whatever all you're gonna need is a wire mesh to strain it through once we're done but you don't want to have big chunks of protein you just want to have some nice big pieces of fat and we want to cut this up into smaller chunks so that it renders down more easily. Okay, so just like I was saying, see this, this piece of fat is great, but this protein right here, we really want to try to cut stuff like that. So let's get out of that out of there, stuff like that. We can easily cut that out. So let's just go ahead and do it. And that is the kind of stuff that you can throw into your, your burger grind bag, grind bag. If you don't have a grind bag, you gotta get a grind bag. If we can cut this into smaller pieces like this, it's going to render down so much quicker for us. Not that we want it to do super fast, but you can also go to your local butcher or to your meat department in your in your grocery store and say, hey, y'all got any beef fat back there? And uh, they'll be like, uh, yeah, do you want it? And you'll be like, yeah, I'll have it. And then you go home and make beef tallow like this. Chunks and chunks and chunks of fat. We're gonna melt you down, then we're gonna eat you later with other things. Look at that, these are perfect chunks of fatty fat. Here we are. This is our throwaway or grind pile. Probably just going to dispose of this, but if this is all we have to throw away after an entire 18 pound subprimal, then that is great. And the rest, this is going on the smoker. Let's go. And what are we gonna cook it in? Cast iron skillet, big bowl of fat. We are smoking on the Halo Prime 300 portable pellet smoker. This is a battery operated pellet smoker. The battery lasts 15 to 20 hours, depending on what you're doing, how high you're, you're cooking. This thing is an absolute workhorse. Today we're smoking with pecan pellets. Why? Well, because yesterday we made our pecanya tacos. That's pecanya, but pecan, pecanya tacos. If you didn't see that video, I'll link to that in the description below as well. They were magnificent magnificent now this is super easy we're gonna set it to 250 degrees we're just gonna let it go i'm gonna close the damper and take our beef tallow and plop it in the grill shut her down that's it and now we're just gonna wait until it renders all the way down. We're gonna check on it probably every 45 minutes or so just to give it a little stir just to help the render process move along that's it It has been several hours. We are done. The majority of our fat has rendered down. That stuff is not going to render. And so we're just going to filter that out. Yes, there we go. I know it doesn't seem like much. It's just liquid fat, but I'm telling you, it's gold. Okay, and now we're just going to take a fine mesh strainer. This is actually the smallest one I have. So I'm just gonna set it on top of that glass bowl, and then we're gonna pour our liquid gold right over it and pull out all that fat that's not rendering. Let that strain into the bowl below, and that is what we're left with right there. We're just gonna let this drip, and then we're gonna take the rest, and then once it's done dripping, we're gonna throw it, cover it, throw it in the fridge, and let it cool. Okay, so there we are. That's what we're left with after refrigerating it and letting it solidify. And I've got a funny story for you guys. This is actually a new batch that I just made. 
because after cooking it for eight hours last time, uh, right before we left for vacation, we were cleaning out the fridge and my wife goes, hey, can I throw away this old pancake batter? And we had actually made pancakes like a couple days before. So I thought she was talking about the pancake batter, but she was actually talking about the fat. <laughs> <laughs> that I made, so that got thrown away. So this is a whole new batch that I had to make. I called my buddy at Gordon's and I said, hey, I need a big bag of fat because my wife threw away my fat. And this is a whole new bag of fat and uh, this is a whole new bag of tallow. <laughs> Sorry. That's really cute. <laughs> this I'm gonna let come to room temperature to soften up a little bit. And then I'm gonna take half of it and I'm gonna make a compound butter out of it. And then we're also gonna save the other half just as plain to use for seasoning cast iron, to season the griddle, it makes an incredible seasoning for both of those things. And we'll save it for some other, you know, toppings and things like that. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and scoop out half of this. That is just satisfying. Okay, so I've got my bowl of beef tallow. Now we're going to add a few shakes of chipotle garlic from Spiceology. And because I love this flavor with steak and butter, Herbs de Provence. It's got like lavender, oregano, different things like that. Really great flavor enhancements for beef. And I love it. The garlic and the chipotle is gonna add a little bit of spice to it. And also garlic. Garlic goes beautifully with steak. Okay, this is what it looks like all mixed up. And now we're gonna put it on Saran wrap and roll it up. It's amazing that the smoke aroma is still here. I kind of expected that to go away, but I, it's slightly still there. It smells great. <laughs> Did you just sniff? <laughs> now what you're gonna do, you're just gonna take it, and roll it as tight as you can get it, like so. Then you're gonna take the ends. We got a broken vessel. And then we'll put that back in the fridge. I got a glass of wine I got a cigarette I should be feeling fine I ain't feeling nothing yet She's leading the second line I feel like I'm in front of it I guess I am I got a cigarette, my glass is empty now, I got a little wine, but I ain't gonna break it out, I need something to let me down, when I'm down and out, I guess I am. Appreciate you. Thanks for watching.